I am Bill Cortright with Living Right with Bill Cortright. And this is the Stress Mastery Podcast, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress mastery. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Stress Mastery Podcast. I am your host, Bill Cortright. This week, our topic is Inspire. And today's Setup Sunday, I am discussing the Inspire Purpose. To inspire is to fill someone with the urge or ability to do or feel something. The human being is hardwired for behavior. This behavior is dictated by what is held in mind. To create the ability to do or feel something and be inspired, the individual must be connected to the heart, creation, mind, true self. They must move out of the ego and the cage mind and connect to their true self and the creation mind because inspiration is not felt in the head. It's felt in the heart. Now, the pendulum of inspire is discontentment. The ego, when in control of the conscious mind of the cage mind, when it has control, the behavior is driven in lack. Lack of satisfaction in possessions or status or the situation that one happens to be in that very moment. To become inspired, to live an inspired life, we must discover our purpose. The 10 archetypes of purpose are the true driving force of humanity. We are each born with a distinct purpose. And then we are each programmed with an identity. This process disconnects us from our purpose, yet our purpose is still there. You don't lose your purpose. You may be a deaf effect. You may be in perceptual blindness stuck in the valley, living your life in the valley in a reality of fear, worry, and stress, yet you still carry your purpose. For your purpose is you. It's the true self. You were born in purpose. You will die in purpose. The question is the in-between. Will you live in purpose? When you live in purpose, you will come to realize that your job is not your work. Your purpose is your work. And when you shift to that high green zone mountain states of energy, you live your work 24-7. It's not what you do. It's who you are. Mark Twain said, the two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. So let us this week, as we continue our series on the 10 archetypes of purpose, we're going to dive into the inspire purpose. Inspiration originally meant to receive an identity or truth from a divine power. And it's this very thing that drives those individuals who carry the inspired purpose. It's what those individuals with the inspired purpose are here to do. Inspired purpose's aim is to expand vision. Their motivated behavior is to evoke recognition. So if you are living a life where you feel bored, you may feel stuck or stunted in your growth. If you live a life where you feel trapped in your circumstances, whether it be your career, finance, health, relationships, even your personal growth, it's the inspire purpose's work to evoke recognition of who you are. They are here to inspire you to connect to your true self and step out of that valley onto your personal mountain. They are here to inspire you to create the change in connection to who you are. That is evoking recognition. It's moving you out of the ego and its stories, that inner critic, and moving you in to who you are and the mission that you're here to accomplish. It's lighting that spark within your heart. 
The inspired purpose possesses a natural ability to evoke recognition and help others to connect to their heart and creation mind. It's what they do. They're inspiring them to move their lives out of procrastination and fear into courage with a new found focus. The inspire purpose evokes recognition in truth and through their talents and or their own story lived in the integrity of behavior. These connected inspire purpose individuals inspire others through how they live their lives. This expands vision and this creates hope for others. The challenge for the inspire purpose is their wild pendulum swing into the red zone energies. When an inspired person is disconnected from their heart, creation, mind, true self, they will swing from the green zone into the low red zone states, the low red zone energy. The low red zone energies have the base energy of apathy. This is where it creates a sense of hopelessness. If they get stuck in that low red zone with that base energy apathy for a period of time, they can become depressed. Now, if they're trapped in that low red zone energy, they this can lead to addiction and even suicide. It is important that the inspired purpose understands the swing and creates and self-authors their mind. They have to create and self-author distinct skills and buffers that helps them move out of conflict into resolution. It's important that they get out of judgment and they move their state out of event, judgment, and reaction, and they move into that event awareness and response. The the inspired purpose must create these type of buffers. The pendulum swing for the inspired purpose is what usually what activates it is overwhelm. Now, at first, they may get angry, but very soon, if they don't let go and process the anger, they will fall into grief, apathy, guilt, and if stuck, eventually shame. You know, if the inspire purpose does not work on their personal growth and personal development, if they are not self-authoring and writing their script for their life, if they don't learn how to set and close the day, journal, read, set proper goals, and most important, those with that inspire purpose must develop the skill of conflict resolution. They have to learn to slow down, use the let go technique. If they don't and they get trapped in that low red zone, they will try to find a way to escape those low red zone energies. And this is usually done through through some type of addiction, through drugs, alcohol, sex, even compulsive behavior of over-exercise and extreme dieting, anything to change their state. They're trying to escape that low energy. Now, the inspired purpose also needs to develop the skills to box their lives. What do I mean by this? When an inspired purpose gets too many things throw them at once, thrown at them at once, if you come in and you're real anxious with them or you're telling them a million things to do and that, that they will go into overwhelm. And when overwhelm activates, they really will begin to shut down. A lot of times the aspire purpose could be passive aggressive and they could just shut off and then go shut themselves away. Well, they're away. They're not in reflection and contemplation. They're in reaction. And the ego starts to, their inner critic starts to bury them. So they have to counter the ego with objective reality. In other words, they have to create the skill that when they feel overwhelmed to move out of their inner mind, their inner world, and into objective reality by putting things in a box, by taking things out of overwhelm and, okay, this is this, this is that, this is what I have to do here. And what that does is 
They do that by using the slow down technique. And they do that by becoming aware. And they do it by actually writing it out. And when they do that, they align their inner reality to the objective reality and they can take action. They move out of overwhelm. And when they move out of overwhelm, they take control of the reality away from the ego. Now, the inspire purpose in relationships, many inspire purposes swing into overwhelm by feeling the responsibility to fix and inspire others. They have this, this feeling around them that they have to fix everybody. They they have they want to be liked, they want to be seen, but they'll say yes to everything. They want everybody to feel good. They feel it's their job to inspire others to feel better. They're here to expand vision and their motivated behaviors to evoke recognition. And they do that by trying to control how the other person's feeling, trying to fix how the other person's feeling. And this can really set the inspire purpose in a situation of a can't win. It's impossible to win. Now, the inspire person, when connected on the mountain, they possess remarkable capacity to expand vision and ignite recognition in those around them. They can effortlessly tap into their innate ability to inspire others, their art, words, spoken and written. They can make others feel special. They they can make them laugh, make them cry. They inspire them to believe. That's what they do. Individuals with an inspired purpose, purpose gravitate toward roles that allow them to entertain, lead, influence, and uplift others. They are creative and excel in positions where they can share their wisdom, vision, and enthusiasm. They are many times leaders with this purpose to expand vision outside of the societal program that may be dictated in the situation. They're the outliers. They're the artists. They're the ones that are going to do things that other people tell them can't be done. They may be a little odd to to other people because they just kind of walk their own story. Now, hobbies and personal pursuits for the inspire purpose, they seek to express their creativity, passion, and ability to captivate others. They may engage in artistic endeavors, such as writing, painting, performing, using their talents as a medium to to convey profound messages and touch the heart of their audience. That's how you evoke recognition. You don't evoke recognition through toxic positivity and tell the person to be positive. No, you evoke recognition by having them connect to their heart, that spark, the creation mind, their true self. Now, many inspire purposes are moved to seek experiences of growth and expansion. Many enter into deep spiritual studies. They're looking for growth, but they want to do something that inspires them. And they may be inspired for a while. They may master something, and then they'll go to the next thing. And the reason they do that, they're looking to fill their spirit, their inspired spirit, because while they're here to inspire others, they also need to keep themselves inspired in their own lives. Now, historical figures, historical and contemporary figures who resonate with the attributes of the inspired purpose are Maya Maya Angelou. The American poet, author, civil rights activist embodied the inspired purpose through her powerful words and ability to evoke recognition. Her poetry and writings continue to inspire and uplift people around the world. Mr. Rogers, Fred Rogers, known for his beloved children's show, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. Fred Rogers inspired generations of children with his messages of kindness, acceptance, and self-worth. Can you see how Mr. Rogers evoke recognition in others. That's the inspired purpose. That's what they're here to do. He would expand their vision. One of the book studies we did was with um, Desmond Tutu. 
if you remember the book study, how the book's escaping me, my mind with the Dalai Lama. It was one of my favorite book studies. Well, the late Desmond Tutu was the, uh, the South African bishop and social rights activist, works against the apartheid and dedication to the reconciliation and body reconciliation reconciliation of his country and his people. He embodied the inspired purpose. His efforts inspired hope and unity in a divided nation. That's an inspired purpose. One of the famous inspired purposes would be Robin Williams. The late comedian and actor captivated audiences with his unparalleled ability to inspire laughter, joy, and introspection. His performance, his performances and his philanthropy efforts continue to touch hearts and uplift spirits today. Robin Williams is kind of an example of a tortured inspire purpose. When he was doing his work and when he was working, he was connected to his inspire purpose. Anybody, we all know that. When the lights got shut off and he was behind the doors, he swung into that low red zone energy. And I, my understanding was that Robin Williams had been diagnosed with something that, what would that do to him? It overwhelmed him. And that overwhelm is the reason that he had addiction to drugs and alcohol. He was trying to escape that lower energy. The only time he escaped the lower red zone energy is when he performed. So Robin Williams was an amazing Inspire Purpose. And the last one I have for Inspire Purpose is John Lennon. John Lennon was a legendary musician and songwriter, famous for being a member of the Beatles, one of the most influential bands in the history of popular music. Now, Lennon's music, including songs like Imagine, has had a profound impact on culture, and his activism for peace made him a global symbol of hope. That's an inspired purpose. Through his music, he evoked recognition. That's what he did. And his aim was to expand vision. And he did it through his art. And he did it through the way he lived his life. See, one thing about the Inspire Purpose, when they're connected, they have a lot of integrity of behavior. They don't apologize for who they are. And they know they're different. And they're okay being different. Because the Inspire Purpose is trying to inspire people to expand vision. What does that mean? That means to move you out of your subjective reality, of the uh, valley reality, and to expand your vision to objective reality, to go to the and, and expand yourself, expand your energy, expand what you believe is possible. So, in summary, the individuals with a inspire purpose have a natural gift for expanding vision and evoking recognition in those around them. They thrive in careers that allow them to lead and inspire, engage in hobbies that harness their creativity and captivate others, and seek experiences that fuel their own growth. And, and that's important. They fuel their own growth and inspire new perspectives. Their ability to motivate and uplift others is a powerful force that can create lasting impact and positive change in the world. So this week, our topic is Inspire. On Monday with the Super Millennial, David is an inspired purpose. I'm looking forward to that episode. And he'll be talking about inspiration in the millennial. On Health Huddles this week, we are talking on evoke recognition. On Ego Maniac Wednesday, Patrick Garner will talk on his version of inspiration and inspire. On Connection Thursday, we're going to talk about the culture of discontentment. And on Friday, we will continue our book study, Living Untethered, with Michael Singer. And we will close out the week talking Inspire with our very own Coach Peggy. So I hope you're enjoying so far uh, this, this um, what do I want to call it, this series, I guess, on the overview of the 10 archetypes of purpose we the first uh week we talked on the growth purpose last week was the vitality purpose and today we're talking on the inspire purpose the purposes are powerful and when you discover your purpose everything changes in your life everything that's it for today's show our mission here is to create a shift on the planet you could join us on this mission by simply like share and subscribe the links are right below in the show notes as always, 
Until next time, stay inspired.